1 and 29. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. That's right, not only to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh but what? To suffer for his sake. See, the Lord wants that scripture to come out again. To let you know that what? You have to suffer for your how about you now shot, man? A lot of y'all think following the Lord, it's all about cotton candy and birthday cakes and gum drops and rainbows everywhere and hugs and kisses. No. The Lord suffered, man. He suffered. How many of y'all can withstand a whip that got razors and nails and all kinds of uh sharp objects in it and hit you in your back and knock patches of meat out your back? How many of y'all can suffer that? And still, and still got to carry your cross to your burial site, man. A big, probably 300 or 400 pound cross, man. It wasn't nothing light, man. It wasn't no 50 pound cross. That was a big heavy cross, man. A big heavy tree. See what I'm saying? It wasn't made of paper mache. This was real solid wood. How many of y'all can withstand that? A crown of thorns in your head, walking down the soul train line, people slapping you, spitting in your face, calling y'all kind of name, punching you, mocking you. Deliver yourself now. If thou be the Lord, deliver thyself now. From you wicked niggas, man. How many of y'all can suffer that, man? You can't even suffer dealing with your husband and your wife talking about your funky feet. You see what I'm saying? Hey, that's true, bro. Bring it out, bro. Yeah. Man. You people just don't understand, man. The, the magnitude of suffering we got to deal with for the Lord, man. You don't understand the magnitude of, of what the Lord suffered for your brush dad. But you think that you worship in the Lord because you go to a church. That ain't, man, that's, that ain't even close to serving the Lord. Number one, the scripture, matter of fact, somebody give me Acts 7 and 48. You said 7 and 48? Yep. Acts 7 and 48. It says, uh, how be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands. So that's automatic three strikes, man. The Lord is not dwelling in temples made with hands, man. See what I'm saying? Because why? There's nothing but wickedness and demons in these churches, man. So how you think you're getting a blessing from, from the Lord and you're not, man? See what I'm saying? Go ahead, go ahead. This is uh, Romans, I'm gonna start at uh, chapter eight, start at 35, 39. It says, who shall separate from the love of Yahabashai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor death, height, nor death, nor any creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. Ahead, so, all these things, um, that should nothing should separate from the love of, of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. Right. No trial, no tribulation, no body, no thing, no nothing, man. But you got to be fully persuaded in your own man, man. Right. You got to tell yourself, like, I'm not doing this, man. You right. got to be disciplined in this thing, man. Right. Right. You gotta make yourself not do things, man. Because this flesh is gonna really, really, it rises up, man. It, and it gets, it, it, those things, and, and James has said, you are enticed with your own lust, man. That's right, that's right. The things that you, your flesh desires are the things that you're gonna have to uh, conquer, man. That's right. But it's stronger than before. Whether it be uh, 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 marijuana, women, uh, cigarettes, uh, 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 lying, uh, uh, adultery. You have to. You gonna have to uh, uh, discipline yourself in those things, man. That's right. You gonna. Uh, you gonna have to suffer because when you come to the truth, those things are intensified, man. 
All right, those demons get stronger and stronger because they don't want to let go, man. Now, it's the, hey, look, it's the same thing, bro. But what happens is now you don't want to do it no more. Uh, uh, right. You 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 don't want to do it no more. So now those things they feel like they're anticipated, but you've been you got to fight with what you've been doing your whole life, man. Right. You got to reach or uh, program your mind right. to do the right thing for you. How was that? How was that marching out, man? Right. He 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 led the perfect uh, path out for us. Uh, set the perfect example of, of us how to live, man, on the face of this earth, man. Right. And some of y'all don't give a, 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 a damn about none of that, man. Right. Like bro just brought out the the beating that he took, the persecution he took, the suffering he took off his own people, man. You know, all he got to fight the Edomite and these other uh, heathen nations. You got to fight your own damn people. Right. All right. Your brother got something? Yeah, I got you. How old uh, Jeremiah 24 and 17? This is 2 Timothy 3 and 12. It says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shah and Mashiach shall suffer persecution, man. All right? So if you're going to be living a godly life, man, you're going to suffer persecution, man. You're going to have these things come up against you, man. All right? You know, it's going to be some times everything ain't going to be sweet, man. All right? Hey, most, of the, oh, hey, most of the time, you're not gonna have a sweet life, man. That's right. And it's true, man. We got little little vacations. You might get a couple of hours or a few days off, but it's right back to the uh, back to the trials and tribulations, man. Right. Yeah, how about Shimmy Howard Shy is, is, is turning us into real men out here, man. That's right. All that soft stuff that we was dealing with before, man. Yeah, how Shy is he, he, he's uh, he's getting that out of us, man. All those things that we used to endure uh, and take, man. He's taking that out of us, man. Right. So yeah, you're gonna suffer, man, because your flesh desires that. Right. And, and, and our comfortability. Sometimes we're gonna have to not have uh, lights and gas on, on in our homes, man. Right. 